All right, time for a look at uh, arts and lifestyle. Adam. Yeah, and starting things off uh, with a, a veteran large format filmmaker who's traveled from Montreal to Vancouver Island to debut his latest big screen production. Stephen Lowe has been uh, fascinated with trains since he was a kid, and now he's driving the Rocky Mountain Express onto Victoria's IMAX. <laughs> My dad took me to a real one in the, in the 50s when I was a little kid. And they were fabulous places. I mean, those engines were alive, you know, and the smoke and the steam, and the, they were magical things and scary. You know, kids like to be scared. You know, when you're a trained buff, you, you kind of grow up um, in a bubble, you know. Pe I'm not sure that people understand why you're obsessed. It was an incredible opportunity to express what I felt and most of us feel about steam engines and the whole romance of the railway and the, and the trains. The Rocky Mountain Express follows a restored steam locomotive from Vancouver to Montreal and along the way you're invited to see sparsely inhabited wilderness and hear the stories behind the building of the first transcontinental railway. Lowe has been making movies for more than 35 years including projects in Hollywood and he says that IMAX filmmaking is the most satisfying of all. Um, I'm just a, I just love real people and documentaries. You, know, you don't go around making films about dull people, so, um, so you're always, you know, hobnobbing with very special people, and that to me is is wonderful. And and to use a giant screen that's better quality than drama gets to use, um, and use it on on real things, uh, it's just a hell of a lot more fun. I mean, Hollywood films are really boring to work on. Rocky Mountain Express opens tomorrow at the Victoria IMAX Theatre. Stephen Lowe will be in attendance during the afternoon screenings, and you can hear more stories from the filmmaker this Sunday on CFAX 1070's Sign on the Arts. Lowe will reveal why Titanic director James Cameron says that he wants to be him.